Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, November 26, 2020. The tarot card for today is The Moon from a deck called A Siren's Melody by artist Lauren Sleeper. It's a beautiful card. Now, first I want to say to those who are in the U.S., Happy Thanksgiving, all right? We do celebrate that here today. Um, I have a few things to say about this card, okay? First off, it's the moon. And it begs the question, where is the moon today? It's in Aries. And Aries is absolutely fearless. You know, just like rushing in and let's do it, okay? Very opposite of the meaning of this card which is a little more dim a little more fearful you know those things that you're unsure about perhaps even disillusioned but what did i say today is the 26th three days from now neptune which is in home sign of pisces is going to go direct and neptune is the one that kind of brings in that fogginess those fears that dreaminess you know maybe you're having a lot of dreams right now it, when neptune is stationing like that you really need to pay close attention to those dreams and maybe not so much the i say like the scary parts of them or whatever but the context of them like what was going on and go google it and see what is happening because once neptune is direct you're going to want to apply these things to your life, you know, in the outer world. The other thing is, we are only four days away from our first Gemini eclipse, will, which will be occurring on the 30th as a penumbral lunar eclipse at 8 degrees Gemini. Hmm. It's a very powerful eclipse season that we are in right now. And indeed, there is a great deal of unknown. And when we see the moon card, we're being asked to release those fears i always like to use the the comparison you know like if you're trying to understand the feeling behind the card take out a deck if you have a deck and put down the moon the sun and the star and look at the difference between them right it's like right there in front of you the moon is that dimly lit perhaps a little bit obscure, you know, with the fogginess and uncertainty, while the star is bringing faith, hope, and optimism, because that's what you do. When you go out at night and you see a star in the sky, you look up and you make a wish for something positive in your life. And then, of course, there is the sun, which is currently in hopeful, optimistic Sagittarius and trining Chiron and Aries. Mmm, yeah, that's happening today, and this can bring about some healing. So, I'm not feeling like this moon card is so, you know, where you, you need to feel a little uncertain with it. I really feel that it's possible to reach for something that is lighter and brighter and come out of that dimly lit situation so it's a holiday here yes but that doesn't mean that you can't overcome something which has been sort of elusive to you all right in a way there is a different between a difference between the illusion and the fogginess and i need to remind people of this because you know being in eclipse season you really don't know how it's all going to turn out. Eclipse season does not end until December 29th when we arrive at the full moon in Cancer. So, the year is ending on a much different note. You're just going to have to go along for the ride and see what happens. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.